I am currently working on an F80 M3 that is full manual. And one of the things that you have to do with the Beamer Tech kit is run a gray wire from the MMI connection harness at the front of the car all the way back um, to this module and to this plug. Let's get a better shot. This plug here at the back. In addition to the fact that you have to run the video cable that goes from the back of the camera, which is up here, and then I've zip tied into place, and it runs to the front of the car. So this runs front to back, the other one runs back to front. Either way, run them both at the same time, but then you're going to need to do this little red splice here. So as you can see, there is, the way it's done, let's see if I can get that into focus, you have a boxed in where it doesn't have a pass through and then on the right you see the one that's a pass through. You need to find, now this might be different for each car, but from the conversation and the instructions, you're looking for the third pin here, which you flip over on the back and see that those two at the bottom have nothing inside of them, but then there's a third one that you can see coming out that's a uh, blackish color with a blue stripe. That one's going to go through the pass-through section of this um, splicing connector. Get some pliers because you're definitely going to need it. You can see how much stress you put on the plastic. Um, and clamp, uh, clamp down between them while the gray wire is butted all the way against this front section here um, uh, that doesn't have a pass-through. It just stops. You want to have them, it's a, a delicate balance, but you can do it. As long as you get this engaged, you will then be able to set the settings on the front of the car with the MMI modules, and you can tell it to, um, uh, to look for the rear view lights, if you will. Um, so the camera knows how to cut off. It'll cut on when you put the car into reverse, or at least mine does, which the rep on the phone said was a little interesting. He didn't think that it would, but mine does cut on. But then after it's on in reverse, without this gray wire here, it would not turn back off. So this is basically giving it a signal on and off um, based on the rear, um, the rear reversing lights cutting on and allowing the camera to cut on at the same time and then telling it you know, to turn off. Additionally, up at the front, you are going to have these dip switches here. You're going to need um, the number one, which you can't see very well. That just says number two right there. But if you look, number one's the first toggle switch. That one needs to be set initially to the off position. But then after you get done programming, you're going to turn it back to the on position. Um, for it to function correctly and then for some reason um, a little different than what the instructions said the gentleman told me that number five and six are to be set in the off position yeah that should be the off position um, let me get some better lighting here just so you can see what I mean Oops. bear with me too much light. Do you see how that says on is an arrow pointing down and then off is obviously the, the up position. So on is down and off is up. Um, and then that should help you out with the installation so that you can get a rear view camera with the Beamer Tech MMI module and then um, it'll work on um, uh, the F80 series and maybe even some others that are a little different than what the installation video that they make it. And they make an excellent one on Keys Motorsports. It's K-I-E-S Motorsports. And they have a great um, installation video uh, to walk you through doing all of this. This is just a little bit of a modification from that particular installation video. So thanks and I hope this helps somebody out.